Hey guys, this is Luke again, and welcome back to yet another Ninjago video onto the channel today. So, if you guys remember my ranking the Legacy Shorts video, you would know that I put probably the most popular of those shorts, Golden Hour, at the very bottom. Um, I didn't go full on in depth into why I didn't really like it all that much, but this is the video for that. This is why I think Golden Hour is pretty disappointing if i'm being honest so if you actually watch the trailer for the um for golden hour the actual trailer for legacy not golden hour itself but basically um i think i remember i did a trailer reaction video to that one but basically i um but basically they showed a, a lot of the time twin stuff and oh my god the hype when people first saw that was just insane it was insane like i remember people like oh my god the time twins are gonna come back oh my god we finally get to know how it happened to them like that hype was just straight up unreal because the time twins mystery was a mystery that people have been wanting for basically the better part of four years and you know we were supposed to get an answer back in 2018 but you know scheduling messed it up um and when i when we first saw golden hour because actually golden hours believe it or not was leaked i think it was on their what was it their roku channel for some reason the roku channel leaked it a bit earlier like a week earlier than it was supposed to so the, we we saw it in kind of crappy footage um but i when i watched it i i was pretty hyped because i was thinking Finally, we're gonna get an answer to this mystery for that people have wanted for so long. And then we didn't. We didn't get that answer. We just got another bullshit interpretive ending, which season seven already did that. So you're basically just carbon copying season seven all over again, essentially. And honestly, it just made me more mad than anything else. Hence why I put it at the bottom of my rankings video. Um, I remember talking this with my f friends in DMs, and they kind of agreed. Well, some of them did. Um, but basically, um, and basically they kind of said there were a lot of questions that needed to be answered. And of course, they weren't going to answer it in the span of, like, what, a few minutes? Like, yeah, not possible. But could they have answered at least the most important question out of all of them? Yes, they absolutely could. But they chose to answer a question that, one, didn't need to be answered, and two, it was basically beyond the point of answering. It was essentially, there was essentially no point in answering the question since so much time has passed. And that question was, how did Wu turn into a baby? Apparently, the answer is he got hit by the, the reversal blade. I, I think it, if I remember correctly from season seven, they used a reversal blade on him, so he aged in reverse. Or Nia did, and so he aged in reverse. And so, oh, that's why he just basically aged down. So that was explained, but nothing else was. And honestly, it's like, why? Why did you not take that opportunity to say, hey, we're going to answer this question that you guys been wanting for four years? Instead, they were like, let's just answer this unnecessary question because we think our audience is a bunch of stupid idiots. So, yeah. Basically, um, the, the, I, I have no beef against anyone who made it, especially Golden Ninja 3000, a.k.a. Yude Kataria. But I feel like a big problem with this is that he and the other people who worked on it did not notice the hype for the Time Twins because in his mind, he wanted to solve what Wu, what the Wu question. But I feel like the one thing he should have done was look at the hype and be like, oh crap, what have I done, essentially. So he would basically have to backtrack, um, backtrack his stuff, basically rewrite the entire thing um, which I think would definitely be possible since the trailer released first and then the shorts came out way later. So I think there was like a big enough gap, but I don't know how animation works. So I could be absolutely wrong. 
there could be a big enough gap to where they could actually reanimate everything, redo everything, which, don't get me wrong, as I said before, I don't know how animation works, I'm not an animator, so I could absolutely be incredibly wrong. So, um, I feel like what he should have done was basically at least answer that question. So, in a way, to me, it really felt like a conflict of interest between what Golden Ninjas 3000 wanted and what the fans wanted. It felt like a conflict of interest. Because you either do what you want or do what they want. And you know what I say, you gotta listen to your fans. So, I, I feel like they should have went with what the fans wanted. And that is... Um, the Time Twins answer being solved. Um, now, there are some people who said that sometimes the fans aren't always right, and that is correct. Sometimes the fans, but that's really down to subjective opinion. Um, it's not like, oh, if most people said that, then it must be true. No. Just because most people said it doesn't make it like automatically the correct decision, because there is no wrong or right decision. Even though I'm saying that, this is what I feel personally what the right decision should have been, and that was to focus on what the fans would have wanted instead of what he would have wanted. I'll, I'm not saying I'm I'm not trying to call him selfish, but it does come across as him wanting to do what he wanted rather than what the fans wanted. So in a way, it's kind of selfish, but I'm not trying to like call him out or anything. I'm not trying to start any sort of drama with him, but I'm just stating my mind, essentially. Um, and hopefully, whenever there's another fan-made creation, you have to think of the fans first. You can't think about yourself, because that makes you a selfish prick. Um, you can't think about yourself and what you want. You got to think about what they want, because what they want is more likely more important than what you want. So, even though you might like a certain direction um, a story is going, pe most other people may not like it, or vice versa. So, in a way, that's why I think Golden Hour is disappointing, mainly due to a conflict of interest between creator and the audience. There is, and you can't allow that when you're making, like, a video game, a, a TV show, a movie, or even, like, something as simple as maybe a music video, a fan-made, fan-driven music video. You have to listen to your fans first. And that's where I'm going to end today's video. But what do you guys think? Do you think that Golden Hour was pretty disappointing? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to your channel by clicking on the red subscribe button, and click on the notification bell to see every video that I will upload. And I'll see all you folks in the next video. Bye-bye!